Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the TypeScript. Today we are going to learn about how to connect TypeScript to the PostgreSQL in Node.js. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. To connect with the TypeScript to PostgreSQL in Node.js, you have to install the PG pool types and this one. This is this install package you have to install into your node.js project so let's open that one and go over here so let's make me clear all this okay so first install this one enter after the installation this is basically a compiler options so you can you you have to follow my previous each and every video of that what exactly it is how we have configured each and everything okay next we have to create a postgres connection file okay so so here we have db.ts so currently in the previous we have the mongoose connection now we are going to connect with this source db.ts so i'm going to use this one import as a pool Okay, so already I have source db.ts. Okay, so here we have a source db.ts. So I will comment the previous code from the mongoose. Okay, let's comment this previous one. Let's add the Postgres code. Okay, so here you need to add the pg user, localhost, database, your password. So I think I have opened out the database.js file. So I will use the Postgres. This is Postgres username. PG host that is local host database so I will use the database the same one test db1 the password you need to add the admin okay so just paste it save it okay next step next this is done the connection file connection okay then we have a source app.ts file so let's add this and we will check the users part getting this one so it is connected or not okay so here we have the user pool now we are going to go with the app.ts file and let's comment all this section okay so comment this and add the new code over here okay so here we have the api part that users await pool connection select from the users and line dot release and this one rose okay and now we have this port and all this is db part let's see if the connection is successfully connected or not okay. is there any error or not npm run f so server is running okay so we have to use the api part to check that one okay so i need to log in with the postgres PG admin now stores let's check this is our password or not okay so which database we are using here that is test db1 so let me load this one test db1 so this is that one and we have the users over here let's see we have the posts and the users all rows so this is don't have the any users table right now here so if you use any of the other table test db so rest api they have so might be we're running the empty array okay let's see so let's check this one the connection part okay so this is done and let's run the api section where it is app.ts file then we have a users and which is the endpoint over here nothing so just slash users it's running in 3000 
slash user send cannot post okay it's a get request so internal server error what it says users does relation users does not exist so i think might be its user so make it the user over here okay because here you can see that internal server it, it will reach it out over here okay so restart again let's try to send again so okay user postgres so that means it's working fine okay so there is no error currently here if i put data over here then definitely it will come out over here okay so do any of the other data table okay so here we have the rest api part where we have a schemas where we have a, i think in the test db1 we have the post data i guess let me check this one we have a post no they do, it doesn't have the data again so we will use the, any of the data any of the database that have the data task management schemas tables no tables over here i have created much of the tables products db schemas tables no still they don't have so let's check with oh, this i think needs to be there so we have schemas we have a tables they they have they have the user view and edit so they have the details right so we will use that one the databases postgres postgres okay so let's change the credentials postgres okay database save this let's hit the api and get the details Still not getting the data right i think we have to modify i think there is another option also let me check there we have a select star from public dot user okay we have to add this otherwise it will not come i guess let me add this in the app uh, app dot ts file because it's working like this okay and save this restarted let's hit this one now you can see the data is coming up okay that means we have a successfully connected to the postgres sql okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and you can see that the connection file is like this okay so you have to import the pool from the pg user const pool new pool here we have a user host database password port and export that pool and it will make sure all the credentials are correct and you can handle the logic also if disconnected or not you can also set that part also okay so any doubt any query do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day